Good afternoon guys, it's Maria here. Today I'm going to share with you a DIY for my makeup brush holder. Um, I will be using this, um, this is like a candle that I got from a local store over here, but this candle is actually from the US. It's called Bridgewater Candle Company. And as you can see, it's a very decorative um, candle jar and it's just a waste to throw it away. So I figured I wanted a more mature, um, brush holder. I used to have the Glitzy Glam brush holder that I got from All That Glitters 21 store and uh, it had like pink polka dots and you know my initial and all that stuff but I wanted a more mature um, brush holder that will look really nice on my vanity so I figured I'll use an empty jar, candle jar and um, this is actually a really old crystal, it's not really crystal, it's just glass, um, a really old glass candle stick that I have a few years ago and, and I didn't really, you know, like the taper candles anymore because they just drip everywhere so I figured I'll just make an apothecary jar. So um, that's what we need, an empty candle jar, a glass candle stick and of course E6000 glue. I found mine. Um, they're not really available locally where I, where I live, so I actually ordered mine from Amazon.com. You can also use hot glue if you prefer that, but then I found out that it's not really super strength, and if you fill this with like those beads and stuff, it will just come off. So if you want it more secure, um, the adhesive to be more secure, then you need to use a really good glue and the E6000 is pretty inexpensive. I got this from Amazon and it was just less than $5, so I ordered two. So if you don't have, if you can't find E6000 glue um, anywhere near you, then go ahead and order it from Amazon.com. So that's what I did with mine. So we need some um, ribbons. I got mine from Walmart a few months ago when I was back home in the States. And I just got a couple of these. Um, I have a hot pink one and I have the black one. So I wanted a more mature looking brush holder that would look nice on my vanity. So um, I just got a black ribbon. So I went ahead and you can basically hot glue this to the candle jar like so, but then I found that using glue dots, um, I got this from Michaels also a few months ago when I was back home. These are very um, good. Um, it's actually super strength, so there's no really need for um, a hot glue gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that I'm just going to glue the bow right in the middle you know where that label is to cover that. I'm gonna put two to make it more secure than just one. So I'm just taking the glue dots out of the... So I'm gonna go ahead and... So as you can see I just put it in the middle and then you can just put the bow right in the center. And it's very secure, it's not really gonna go anywhere so that's how it's gonna look like. And then I already marked the center of my jar using um, a Sharpie. So I just marked the center of my jar. And basically what we're gonna do is just put glue, the E6000 glue right on top here, and then turn the jar upside down and just glue the candlestick to the candle jar. And then we're going to leave it like this upside down. We're actually going to leave it upside down to like set. I'm going to leave it like that for 24 hours so it would set. And then um, I'm going to show you how the finished product looks like. Bye for now. Okay, so I glued them already with the E6000. And of course, this needs to dry for 24 hours. But just to make it more secure, because it does slide around if you use a little bit of glue. Um, I have a, a nice heavy book on top of the two um, candle holders. They're actually not the same size. The other one is actually um, longer, uh, a longer candlestick compared to this one. And I like the way that it would look 
on my vanity. So um, there you go. I just have the books, the heavy books, on top of the candle holder, I mean apothecary jar. And then I'm going to show you how it looks like tomorrow. So bye for now. Hey guys, it's Maria. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, the glue had set and it's very sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So E6000 is the way to go instead of hot gluing it. I know hot gluing is the easiest thing to do. one if not then the two will do for now so I put a candle right now just so you can see that it does look good when the candle is lit we'll focus just something to do on you know kind of like a boring day and I think it looks great okay guys now I'm back with the same apothecary jar and I'm using it now to show you as a candy dish as you can see I have the top on um, these jars are just so pretty so you know if you guys want to find and the candles too they're made of soy so it melts evenly and it smells really really good that's why i bought a lot of them unfortunately it's not available locally over here anymore so hopefully i can find it someplace else but they're from the u.s but uh, as you can see it's now a candy dish and it looks really cute so it's multi-purpose i saved the lids just so i can use it for different purpose every now and then but for now i'm gonna actually use it for my makeup brushes for my vanity so it does look cute and another option is maybe to put your uh, perfume samples or your lip glosses I mean you can do so many things so you know guys rush over to the Dollar Tree and get your um, crystal candlesticks and get some you know inexpensive glass jars hopefully with a top but not you know you can actually make this without the top anyway or recycle your candle holders like I did over here so I'm, I'm gonna show you now how I'm gonna use this actually as my makeup brush holder okay now I'm showing you the real purpose why I made these uh, apothecary jars because I wanted something um, on my vanity that's going to look really pretty and more adult, I guess. So I thought this would look really nice on my vanity. So I finally put my makeup brushes in there. So do a close up. to show it to you now where I put my makeup brushes on my vanity. Okay guys, I'm back. So as you can see, I have it on 
uh, on top of my vanity. Well, this is not exactly a vanity since I put towels and things like that over here, but um, this is where I wanted my makeup brush um, holder to go. And as you can see now, it looks really pretty. It kind of matches with my, my glass um, chest, I think is what you call this or whatever it's just you know somewhere where I put like my lip glosses and other things there so I have some um, fake candles there in the background and I like the way it looks right now with my crystal lotus flower here how it looks like so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful and I will talk to you on my next one bye for now